Hey guys, welcome to the next video in the Max Script video series. And today we will take a look at how we can delete items from an array. So let's say we have an array of shapes. So I'll say SHPS as a short form and we say shapes as array. Now it basically creates an array of shapes. And if I just say print SHPS to the short form, we'll say R, donut, and star. So we have three shapes. And if you would like to delete an item from the array, now array has three items, which is arc, donut, and star. And let's say we just want to delete donut because someone had a donut. So what we do is we say delete item. And then we say that we want to delete an item from shapes. So delete item from shapes. And which item do we want to do? So we have to provide an item number, which means if donut is the second item, we say two and we evaluate it. So now once we evaluate it, we see that if we print out shapes again, we just have two items in the array. Now there is one thing that you would like to notice is that arrays are basically lists or containers in which you have put or assigned some variables or some data, right? So deleting something from an array, deleting an item from an array will not result in deleting the object from 3D Studio Max. So this is the very basic and major difference that if you delete items from an array, they will not get deleted from Max unless you specifically say that you want to delete it from 3D Studio Max. That we'll take a look at later. But for now, let's take a look at how we can delete items from the array. So now if we see the array that we have has a count of two, that's it. Earlier it were, there were three items, now there are two items. Now let's get back to our for loop and uh, let's try deleting all the items from an array. So let's say I have uh, geometry as array and I want to delete all the items. So if I use the for loop like for o and geom do delete item geom and now let's say I just want to delete the first item every time I iterate. So if I say one, so that means it's going to delete the first item always. It says, okay, but let's print out john.count. Now see, we are still left with one item in the array, whereas we expected that every item should be deleted. That means if I print, we say that we still have the teapot left in an array. That means the array is not empty at all, right? So here is when we use the second way of iterating, which is for o in one, do john dot count do. Now I'm going to just copy this and paste it. So delete item from geometry array with index number one whenever you're iterating. So let's print this. And now if I just go ahead and print geometry, it says an empty array. If I see the count is going to say zero. Now this is very straightforward and simple, but let's try with multiple objects. So let's say if I have helpers as an array, right? So H is equal to helpers as array. Now you see, I can actually give any name to the array. H is basically just a single letter and I can still have an array assigned to it. So H is basically a variable here, right? And now H contains all the helpers. And if I just print H, it says dummy 001 to 0 0.003. And if I say H dot count, it's going to be five. Now, if I just use the same for loop, which is for O in one to H dot count, do delete item H one. So delete the first item whenever you're iterating in the array. And if I evaluate it, it says, okay. And I say print H. So it says, okay. And if I say H dot count, it says zero. And if I just evaluate H, it says an empty array. So guys, this is very important to understand that first, whenever you delete items from array, they do not get deleted from 3D Studio Max as nodes. Okay. And the second thing is when you want to delete all the items from the array, make sure that you use this kind of for loop when you iterate 
from the indices of the array and not the objects itself. So this is it on deleting of items in an array and thank you so much for watching.